right, people, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So we kind of had like a pseudo Gladiator Beast week this past week. And card review, we looked at the two new Gladiator Beast huge monsters. So I thought we'd just go ahead and keep it out for Fake Card Friday. So today we're going to be looking at two fake Gladiator Beast monsters. So the first one we are looking at is Gladiator Beast Sanjatari. So he is a, an Earth level 4 and Beast Warrior effect monster with 1500 attack and 100 defense. His effect reads... If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can shuffle this card from your hand into the deck. Then special summon one level 4 or lower Gladiator Beast monster from your deck, except for Gladiator Beast Sanjatari. You cannot special summon any other monsters except for Gladiator Beast during the turn you activate this attack. Alright, so uh, when I first read this card, I thought, so you're a test tiger, except you're not a neck. So for those of you who don't really play Gladiator Beast or no, that's actually a monster in the deck known as Test Tiger. Right, he's not a Gladiator Beast, but he definitely does help. Where if you have a Gladiator Beast monster on the field, you can special summon Test Tiger, tribute Test Tiger, and then that Gladiator Beast monster can tag out. It would be considered a summon of a Gladiator Beast monster from the deck. So essentially, you're using two cards the Gladiator Beast monster on your field and the Test Tiger, tagging out to tag back in a different Gladiator Beast. So it's a neck, it definitely is. This guy in the right hand, since he does tagging himself, that means you don't need the test tiger. So it's pretty much a one for one. You're tagging him out to special summon a level four lower Gladiator Beast monster from your deck. And of course, it would count as the monster being special summoned by Gladiator Beast because it was. Uh, so instead of negging with the test tiger, you even out. But of course, you can only do this if you if your opponent controls a monster and you don't. So, you know, this is definitely more of a going second card because if you control a monster or, or you know you know your opponent doesn't control a monster you can't even do this effect so uh it's definitely limiting uh something that test tiger really doesn't have you know it doesn't matter what position the duel is and test tiger is like hey you got a gun beast on the field i'll special some myself i'll treat myself and i'll tag that motherfucker out so uh that effect's not terrible you know uh, especially like maybe possibly later in the game you know your opponent uh, has pushed you to the brink of plays uh, where, you know, they control something you don't, you got your field lap or something like that. You have this guy in your hand, you go ahead and just put him back, summon like Darius. Darius summons you uh, the Bastari from your graveyard. There's the guy's Aris right there. So um, if this card was real, I could definitely see the play. Of course, you are restricted to only summoning Glad Beast from, uh, especially summoning Glad Beast for the rest of the turn. So that's kind of, is hampering because Glad Beasts do have a, Couple of level four, so you could do a rank four play, etc., etc. But no, uh, if you use the fact you can put some glad beast monsters, but hopefully that won't be too much an issue. And uh, at the end of the battle phase, this card attacked or was attacked, you can shovel into the deck, then spell summon a glad beast monster from your deck, except for himself, of course. So, uh, similar to a lot of glad beast monsters, be battles if he, he tags out. Uh, but the thing is that he doesn't have anything, any kind of effect when tagging in. So, obviously, he's in your hand. He's going to be helping you uh, with your hand plays, but you're not going to tag in him. He doesn't do anything. And, uh, I mean, I don't think or believe he has any fusions, you know, that list him. So, uh, overall, like I said, he's kind of a test tiger, except he's not an egg. Uh, if he was real, I definitely think he would get some play uh, in more of a Gladiator Beast deck that would prefer to go second. Uh, but overall, he is a fine card. So to create this card said, since this guy doesn't have an effect upon being summoned by a Gladiator Beast, that balances him out, which is fine. Uh, I'd only run two copies of him. His attack is quite low and doesn't provide an effect when summoned by another Gladiator Beast tagging out. It makes the deck faster and allows Gazarish plays more frequently. And yeah, it definitely does allow for Gazarish plays a little bit more frequently. And of course, he is searchable with Proving Ground because he's a level 4 Glad Beast, but as well as because he is a Beast Warrior, he's also searchable with Tanky. So this card would add a ton of consistency to the Kyrie Beast deck. So I definitely think this card is actually really good. All right. So. Uh, yes, there is the first fake card, the first fake Gladiator Beast card. So let's go ahead and look at the second one. So the second one is Gladiator Beast Profist. So he is an Earth level 4 Beast effect monster with 1800 attack and 1200 defense. So his stats are a lot higher than um, San Sangratari, definitely. Uh, 1800 attack is nothing to scoff at for a level 4. Let's look at the effect. So... When this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can pay 500 life points to special summon a level 4 lower Glad Beast monster from your deck. At the end of the battle phase, this card's attacker, attack, you shall back to your deck, special summon a Glad Beast monster from your deck, except for Pearl Fist. 
this card, if it was real, oh my god, you definitely would run through this because this guy is super good. So, of course, when he is tapped in by a Gladiator Beast monster, you pay 100 to summon another level 4 or lower Gladiator Beast monster, which is interesting because it doesn't say except for Pearl Fist because you think it would. So, literally, I tag him in with the Gladiator Beast. Activate his effect, pay 500, special summon another Pearl Fist, pay 500, special summon Pearl Fist, pay 500, special something else. So, yes, he can actually do that. It does not say that you cannot summon Pearl Fist with this particular effect, and it does not say that you can only use the effect once per turn. So, if this guy was real, oh my god, he'd be so caught. He's pretty much a, a one card to Gazaris, uh, especially considering Sanjatari and uh, Test Tiger. For example, I would go, all right, well, Sanjatari, you control a monster, I don't. Go into Pearl Fist, Pearl Fist, pay 500, summon the Gazaris, uh, I mean, the Bastari from my deck, and then there's Gazaris right there. So, yeah, very, very powerful indeed. Uh, and if this card was real, like I said, you definitely be running three of this guy because he is just so freaking good, you know? So, uh, you know, both of these guys are interesting. Both of them are really good. If they were both real cards, I'd say that you should definitely play both of them if they were real. But this Pearl Fist, like, he needs a little bit of tweaking. He's a little bit broken. And Sagittari, like I said, he's good. He's similar to Test Tiger, which is a card that uh, Glad's already had, except he's not the neck, but he has that summoning restriction set, or a sack restriction that makes him a little bit uh, less palpable uh, compared. But, yeah. So, both of these cards are uh, really well made. Uh, it seems like both of them uh, had a lot of love put into them, that the people who created these cards definitely know their Gladiator Beast. And, uh, you know, as an expert in Gladiator Beast who played the deck for literally one month, I can definitely say that these cards wheels are definitely great, and I would throw them in my deck. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We are done here. So, tell me what you guys think about Gladiator Beast Sanitari and Gladiator Beast Pearl Fist in the comments section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. Of course, I'll be back next Friday with another fake card to look at, and as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh! content tomorrow. So if you guys can, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell for notifications. I will be giving you guys an update video soon. So I know the channel's been kind of stagnant lately, but uh, stick with me, stick with me, all right? Uh, and thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys next time. All right, thanks for watching.